it didn't last long. The Germans destroyed the gun themselves in 1945 to avoid it getting captured by the Red Army, and little advancements were made in supergun technology from there until 1961. In that year, the U.S. and Canadian governments started a joint research mission called Project Park, which stood for High Altitude Research Project. Without getting into complicated details, the project basically tried to build a gun big enough and powerful enough to fire objects like satellites into space without the need for expensive rockets. One such gun was built in Arizona that had a caliber width of 41 centimeters and a barrel length of 41 meters, longer than the Schwerer Gustav. It fired a 180 kilogram projectile out of the barrel at a blistering speed of 2.1 kilometers per second, which briefly sent it into space and set an altitude record for guns at 180 kilometers high, which is a world record that still stands today if you're looking for something to do. Since the escape velocity of Earth is actually more like 11.2 kilometers per second, Harp was nowhere near capable of firing a projectile that could stay in space, and it was canceled shortly after. But the head of the project named Gerald Bull wouldn't give up so easily. So he met up with a guy a couple decades later who really liked the idea of Big Guns 2 named Saddam and got to work on a new gun codenamed Project Babylon. A prototype gun called Baby Babylon was successfully built that had a caliber of 350 millimeters and a barrel length of 46 meters. It weighed 102 tons, and after being set up on a hillside, it was supposedly capable of achieving a firing range of 750 kilometers, enough to fire something from San Francisco all the way to San Diego. The actual non-prototype model that was never built, however, would have been far larger. Going by the slightly obvious name of Big Babylon, it would have had a caliber size of an entire meter. The barrel was going to be 156 meters long, nearly five times longer than the barrel on the Schwerer Gustav. Suspended from cables on a steel framework, it would have been over 100 meters high at the tip, and the complete mechanism would have weighed over 100 tons. Since firing projectiles directly at targets would have been laughably inaccurate with this thing, it was going to be used instead like the harp gun and fire projectiles into orbit. These could have been satellites, or more sinister, guided weapons. Using onboard rocket boosters, these projectiles could position themselves over an enemy target or city and drop down using gravity to pull them down and gain kinetic energy while falling. It's unclear if this truly would have been possible for Iraq to accomplish, and we'll never know since Gerald Bull was mysteriously assassinated in 1990 outside of his apartment by unknown agents. Big Babylon is not, however, the largest gun ever conceived to be possible. That honor probably has to go to the quick launch gun, which pushes the limits of how large guns can possibly get. While not yet built, the barrel is designed to be 1.1 kilometers long much longer than the tallest building in the world is tall. It would be mostly submerged in the ocean and use hydrogen instead of gunpowder as its firing source. The claim is that it would be capable of firing a projectile at 6 kilometers per second out of the barrel, and then onboard rocket boosters on that projectile would speed it up to 7.8 kilometers per second, which could get supplies on the projectile into orbit. While not designed for military applications, Quick Launch is probably about the biggest gun that humanity could conceivably build right now. If you're looking to operate a vehicle like the Panzer I though, which was lighter than the projectile fired from the Schwerer Gustav, then you should play World of Tanks next. World of Tanks is a free-to-play online action game that throws players into breathtaking tank battles across epic battlefields. Set in the same time frame as the Schwerer Gustav, World of Tanks boasts an impressive roster of over 450 authentic historical tanks for you to play with. Over 150 million people worldwide are already playing, including myself. But viewers of this video can get an exclusive advantage starting out by clicking the link in the description of this video. The first 300 new users to click on this link and use the code World War II Tanks will receive three days of premium time, 500 gold, and a free premium tank. It's completely free, fun, and a great way to support this channel. So thanks again to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. Go and give them a shot, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this in the future. Free premium tank. Ever since the invention of gunpowder in China,